Hello there everybody. I'm here to showcase my third work in progress video for my still unnamed engine or game. And if you notice in the title, I now have that HTML5 tag, which means that this game is now fully canvas enabled. And this was done on suggestion of Derek. And I have his Twitter link in the description of this video if you want to see who that is. He's kind of been helping me out a lot, so I thought it would be nice and give him a little shout out. And so that's kind of what took so long to get this video out is because I've been busy uh, not only with other projects but also recoding this entire thing basically uh, into Canvas instead of my terrible way that I had it done before which was using about a million divs. <laughs> I'll probably record this video in a couple different parts just because I want to do some organic gameplay and I might uh, miss a couple things. So first off you might notice some changes to the dialogue menus, there's more of them. So we got messages which is your log for combat and skill gain, stat gain, that kind of stuff. Minimap which is generated as I move dynamically using canvas. Skill window which I'll go into a little bit more later. Stats and inventory. And if you also notice or hear, there's now sound. And I'm using Sound Manager for that. And as you can see here, when I was uh, resource gathering, I was gaining skill as is mentioned in the messages. I'm losing stamina and I'm also gaining the resources. So skills do a lot of different things. Obviously, uh, the more skill you have, the more successful you'll be, uh, the, the less stamina you'll use, and that kind of stuff. I have still a lot of work to do with fine-tuning that kind of stuff, but it's kind of just the rudimentary implementation right now. So I'm going to show you what happens when I have no stamina left. Essentially gives me a warning, and for every time that I try to move without stamina, it gives me a stamina, but first I lose a turn which would be very inconvenient if you happen to find a monster and we're trying to run away from it, like this slime right here. So as you can see I have zero stamina and if I were going to run away I wouldn't be able to move and he would have the upper hand on me. Which leads me to my next thing which is this rudimentary battle system that I have going on. I'm not going to try to continue to fight him just because I'm low on stamina. So here in the next part of my video, it's getting kind of scary and creepy. As you can see, I have a night system now, or day-night cycle. So every turn I move, it gets closer and closer to darkness. And unfortunately, I don't have any kind of torches implemented, so it's going to get rather dark as well. There seems to be a lot of slimes around as well. Good thing they're not uh, hostile. Um, I'm also going to show you uh, some of the rudimentary crafting I have in. So one of the recipes I have is by hitting two rocks together you can craft a sharp stone and that raised my tinkering skill. And here you'll see a bunch of mushrooms. I'm gonna pick a couple of them up. Or all of them. <laughs> And uh, mushrooms do a couple different things. They will raise your stamina and raise your health. So they're good to keep around if you're mining or lumberjacking.
As you can see, it's getting daytime again. So as you can see, I have no stamina. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a mushroom. And you can eat a mushroom by double clicking on it. In fact, you can try to use any item by double clicking on it. As you can see, it raised my stamina there. The other thing that you can do with mushrooms is plant them. So I've implemented dropping items, so you can drop any item actually uh, using right click. So say I want to get rid of all these stones. The difference between dropping mushrooms is you don't drop them, you plant them. So if you actually notice, um, my, my ecology skill is going up, which is the study of fungus and mushrooms, which was kind of a joke, but it's kind of neat, so I'm leaving it in for at least the foreseeable future. Uh, the thing that you may notice going on here is uh, these mushrooms are actually growing out. So I'm going to spend a couple turns here. See if I can't get these mushrooms to grow more. So that one grew over there. So obviously the more tactics that I have, uh, the easier it will be to kill these slimes. Here I'm just showing you some of the varied terrain. And I'm also going to show you the dreaded red slime. And I won't actually be able to kill him. But that's okay, I don't have a death system yet either. So as you can see, he's hitting me for quite a substantial amount of damage. I seem to be missing him a lot, because I don't have any tactics. So as you can see, I'm not dropping below zero health. I'm invincible for right now. Okay, that's enough of that. Obviously, I can't kill him yet. And I'm just gonna reload the page a couple of times just to show you that terrain generation. As you can see, all the dialog boxes reset, but just worry about the mini map. <laughs> and as you can still see, I haven't gotten the past boundaries map generation working quite yet. So obviously this would keep going. It would just generate new chunks. Wonder if I'll be able to get a sand one. Again, this is all random, so it's kind of the luck of the draw. There we go. Here's some sand. Here's showing one of those transitions. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's all that I wanted to show you and I don't really know how to end these so I'm just gonna let the video fade out. <laughs>